Hey guys, Maple Tell here. Welcome back to another year of my Pride Month Warrior series. The art challenge where I draw warrior cats based on LGBT plus pride flags all for the month of June. And as usual, we're starting off with River Clan. Let's get into it. Actually, really quick before that, I've opened up Pride Icon Commissions for Pride Month. Give me any character, OCs included, and any pride flag slash flags, and I'll draw you an icon. If you're interested, you can contact me using any of my social media or email listed in the description. All right, back to the drawing. In previous years, I've drawn leaders, deputies, warriors, apprentices, and medicine cats. So this year we're doing kits. This is also the final year I'll be doing this specific selection of flags, as I've now done each of these flags for each clan, barring a couple which I'll be doubling up on in the coming weeks, so I'm all caught up. Next year I'll be choosing flags that I've yet to do for this challenge, as there are a lot more more commonly used than there were five years ago when I started this challenge. I want to be able to create representation for as many identities as possible, which is another reason I want to switch it up. So if you have any suggestions for flags I could use in the future, please let me know. I'll start compiling a list. I want for sure to include the gay flag with the blue and green stripes, as it's one I didn't know about at the start of this challenge, for example. Anyways, let's take a look at today's piece. First up is a romantic. In the first three years, I actively avoided using green as a pelt color, as I find it the most difficult to get looking not totally ridiculous. <laughs> then last year I challenged myself and did one greenish cat. So this year, we're going all out. A flag has green, I'm gonna do my best to use it for fur. So this little guy has a dark brownish green pelt as a base. I was inspired by Mossy from Cat Tales Become a Cat, a green brown cat. As you can see in my previous four designs, I've used every other color for the base, so it's definitely dark green's turn, however challenging it may be. I used the lighter green too for splashy patterns across the muzzle, paws, and tail. The white went around those markings in a similar pattern, around the eyes, on the ears, limbs, and tail. For the black, a simple back stripe, and on the ear tips, and for the nose. And gray eyes, as I've exclusively used green in the past. I actually kind of love this one. I think they're super cute. For a name, I like Mossy Kit or Mossy Frost when they become a warrior. Last year, I talked a bit about how all my Pride Month Warriors OCs were related to each other, so I want to go over how this guy fits in too. Because of the patterns, general vibe, and name, I like them being a Model Frost's kit. As Model Frost is a medicine cat, I think that their sister Stormshade is ready to sing Mossy Kit with her mate, Ripple Stripe. Then making them siblings to Blue Flight and Cherry Feather. Let's move on to cat number two using the gender queer flag, another big green one. In the past, half the designs started with a white base and the other half with purple. Green's time to shine. More of a silvery green this time. To get that color, I layered the purple and some grays over the green to mute it. As for the white, it became a shattered type pattern across the back, legs, tail, face, and ears. I used the green again for the nose, but a bit of a darker variation. And for the eyes, purple. As aside from the odd eyes in the first cat, I've never done it. For a name, I liked Bracken Kit slash Bracken Snow. For the green and white vibes. I'm pretty happy with how this guy turned out too. So where does Bracken Kit fit in with the family tree? They look a lot like Mossy Kit. And I gave them pretty matching names, so it only makes sense that they'd be littermates. I like to think the two of them are more adventurous types with the way they're leading the charge in this piece. Let's move on to the gender fluid cat. I've always adored the colors of this flag, and I think they translate decently onto a cat. In years past, I've done blue, white, purple, and black for the base. So this is the year for pink. I went for a very pale, nearly white pink, also using a slightly more pink color for the nose. I used purple for the markings, going for a swirly tabby look across the body's legs, tail, and face. 
accompanied by some dots. Those same dots on the ears, too. The deep blue I used for some pretty eyes, as I've never just used it for that. I don't know how in the world I did this, but I completely forgot about the black and white, even though I added them to my color palette. So I made sure to add them in later, as you'll see at the end. Black for the outer ears and white for the inner ears. For a name, I knew I wanted something soft and purple, so I went for Lilac Kit, later to be called Lilac Branch. Family tree-wise, she looks the most like Berry Star, so she can be her kit. Berry Star's mate Flowershine carried their first kit, Sand Splash, so I think that Berry Star wanted to carry the second litter with Lilac Kit. Cat number three, the Rainbow Pride Flag. Ever the struggle, which I'm sure will only get harder next year, as I want to include the newer Progress Pride flag. I know I said earlier I was going to use green for the fur whenever possible, but I made an exception here as there are so many colors, it's not like green's the only one I haven't used, unlike with most of the green flags. So which colors have I tried already as the base pelt? Yellow, but we don't talk about that one. Orange, blue, and red. So today I chose purple. Very dark, nearly black purple to be exact. I thought about going dark for the blue markings too, but I went with a very pale blue instead, with a sweet little heart face pattern. I also lowered the opacity on that and put it on the outer face, ears, chest, belly, and tail. The nose is a dark red, and everything else went in the eyes as to not overly complicate the design. If there's one thing the cats inspired by this flag have in common, it is fun, colorful eyes. Often using two or even three of the colors. Here I went for yellow with orange irises and then green pupils. It's cute, it's fun, it is what it is. <laughs> Thinking of names, I knew I needed to use heart as a suffix. So meet plum kit slash plum heart. I love the prefix plum and I think it's underused and super perfect for a little purple guy. Moving on to the family tree, if we made the green ones litter mates, we're gonna do the same for the purple ones. Making Plum Kit, Berry Star and Flower Shine's third child. Thanks for watching! I am so, so excited to be returning to my Pride Month Warrior series for the fifth year in a row now. It's a really special time, and I always have so much fun doing this art challenge as my little way of celebrating Pride. I've already prepped most of the sketches and backgrounds in advance, as I just get so hyped about doing these pieces. They also tend to get pretty involved, so being prepared definitely helps this month's videos go much smoother. I'm also feeling bittersweet to be having a bit of a farewell to these flags that I chose back then, though I will be doing the rainbow one once more this month, as I've never drawn it for ShadowClan either. That said, I am super excited to be able to move on and include a whole new set of pride flags next year too. It's definitely past time. Again, please leave any suggestions for ones y'all would like to see in the future. And happy Pride Month! I'll see you next Thursday.